This is Gerald Brents, and welcome to the Mike Hughes Show. Coach Hughes here to my right, and you know, Coach Hughes, uh, Arlington Martin was one of the uh, uh, most highly re uh, touted teams in the area going into the game the other night, and you come in with a young team and pull off a great win, and uh, you guys got to be feeling good over there. Well, they were the number four ranked team in the area, and uh, I tell you, we know we knew going in it was going to take four quarters to to win this game. Nobody gave us a chance. I think uh, we were picked to lose 31 to 17 in the paper. But I tell you, our guys believed, and and uh, the thing that that we kept doing is playing for four quarter. I, four quarters. I thought they had a lull in the fourth quarter, and I thought my guys kept playing. And uh, it, the game went about like I expected. I knew it was going to be close, and uh, it turned out uh, in our favor. Probably one of the biggest wins of Plano West uh, history. A lot of people don't understand lot of, that these non-district games, has, how important it is to get off to a good start, your season, and especially against a quality team like that. Well, anytime you play in District 8-5A, you have to prepare for that. And we feel like playing teams like Arlington Martin, we play, actually this week is a bye week for us, and we play South Garland, uh, and then we play North Mesquite, and we feel like that prepares us for the grind every week in District 8-5A. All right, and more in specific in the game itself, you know, it was, it was a Thursday night game, first game of the year, of course, uh, hot, muggy up Craven's Field in Arlington. Um, Arlington Martin goes ahead seven to nothing, and it was, it was a fight. It was, it was a struggle for both teams, but the, uh, Martin has the ball going in, but late in the first half, has a chance to take a two-score lead on you, but all of a sudden, Plano West makes the big play. We had a big play there right before the end of the half, Davis Risky. Uh, one of our little sophomore corners made an outstanding play with the interception. We were able to gain a little momentum on that play and go into halftime. I tell you, at halftime, what you do, you meet the offense and defensive staff, and, and you start uh, planning for the second half. And then maybe more important than that, you meet with the kids. The kids are out there playing, and they have a little better feel. You can always get some some uh, ideas from them on what's going on on the field. Uh, we take a lot of pride in our kids. They're very smart. And, and uh, so after you do that, uh, you calm down. I told our guys I thought we were about where we uh, thought we would be. Uh, I told them to keep playing for four quarters, uh, and we did. And uh, we were able to, in the fourth quarter there, uh, score and uh, come out victorious. Let's take a look at these highlights. This first play uh, was one of the most exciting plays of the uh, the game, but it was called back by a penalty. Yeah, we uh, Arlington Martin uh, very multiple on defense, pressure defense, get upfield a lot, and uh, we popped him on the screen here, Ryan Carson Smith to Ryan Doyle, and executed it about as good as it can be executed. You can see their guys upfield a lot, tremendous downfield blocking by our offensive linemen. This is one of two plays that was actually called back. This was called back. Uh, actually, the call was a holding downfield, uh, but uh, it was uh, a play that was well executed, a play that we rep all the time in practice. This was actually the zone read, Carson Smith, uh, where we're actually reading here the back or the quarterback keep. He pulls it out the backside and goes down to about the one yard line. This led to the four plays down on the goal line. Here's a play where we were able to hold their running back to 84 yards rushing. I thought that was a, a key play in the game, play here by Ike uh making a stop. This is a tall sweep. Again, their running back that's already committed to OU, another outstanding play by our defense, holding him to eight, 84 yards. This is Cameron Haddock, one of our backs. We played three backs, popping them on the trap. Bootleg, good, good job by Justin Bass here, holding the deep route and breaking up on the short route for about a three or four yard gain. Justin Bass is one of our outside linebackers, tremendous player. The zone read again, give it this time to Cameron Haddock, bust up field for about 20. Right now we're playing three backs, want to keep them healthy for the district schedule. Tremendous play. Here's the play right this before is the half. This is the play at the end of the half. Right before half, we talked about Davis Risky, one of the defensive players of the game. We actually had three defensive players of the game, our nose guard, Cortese Alexander, Davis Risky, and Grant Cooper. Here's our little lead out sweep with our quarterback, Carson Smith, just zoning up up front. Tremendous blocking by the offensive line. 
Here's Jared Horan hitting them on the trap again. Again, they're upfield pressure. Uh, and any time a defense is upfield, that uh, they're setting themselves up for the trap. You know, the one thing I noticed was uh, that the game had everything Everything high school football is all about. They, uh, there, were, there were mistakes in the game on both sides, but uh, big plays, big defensive plays, uh, some razzle-dazzle. Of course, it comes down to a 47-yard field goal that just barely missed by Arlington Martin on one side, playing on the west side, elation, just uh, everybody, just a tremendous thrill on the other side, on the Arlington Martin side. What a bummer. But it really didn't matter because both teams the next day had to get it back together and get ready to go again, didn't they? Well, we have what we call a 24-hour rule. If you win, you celebrate. Obviously, that was a huge win for our program, and we, we celebrated. Uh, but Arlington Martin, Bob Wager, their head coach, does an outstanding job. And that 24-hour rule, if you win, you celebrate. If you lose, you hurt because we worked so hard. And then you've got to get ready for next week's opponent. You can look at that game, and, and uh, there were about five or six key plays in that game. And that's the way it is every week when you play this level of competition. And uh, fortunately, we came out uh, the winner of this game. And, and, uh, but it's close. Every week is close. That field goal there at the end, it was just off to the right. He had the distance. It was just off to the right. And so uh, we came out victorious and, and a huge win for our program. The offensive players of the game have played really outstanding. Actually, we had one this week, Patrick Rainey, our center. Defensively, one of the best defensive games we've played. Uh, defensively, our players of the game were a little nose guard, Cortese Alexander, one of our safeties, Grant Cooper, and then the corner that you saw make the huge play right before the halftime, Davis Risky. Special teams player of the game was Leon Taylor, our kicker. Leon's actually a corner also, so he doesn't get the reps, but uh, he had the onside kick that was huge. And then, of course, the field goal. The story on that field goal is I actually looked at Leon and said, Leon, can you make this? He looked me right in the eyes and said, Coach, I can make it, and he did. So that's a tribute to his confidence and me believing in him and uh, big play in the game. Okay, we've got uh, an off week this week. And uh, to give us a little, uh, little preview about how you're going to handle the off week, and then we have South Garland Colonels next week and then North Mesquite for the first district game against Louisville. Well, this week we're focusing on healing up. One, we had a few injuries, not major injuries in this game, but we had a few minor injuries, so we're healing up right now. Uh, yesterday we went in the weight room and we lifted and conditioned. Today we're gonna go out and go through a walkthrough, start working on South Garland a little bit, but we're gonna condition them hard today and, and uh, do some of the things that in a normal week you don't get to focus on as much. So. Uh, this is going to be a little different week for us. Heal up, focus on the weight room, focus on the conditioning, and start our preparation for South Garland somewhat. Okay, we'll be back next week.